Our next roaster is truly having an amazing year. He wrote a best-selling book. He takes his first stand-up special. Here he is all the way from Dirty Jersey, Mr. Jim Norton. Yeah. Thank you. A nice hand for the band, The Way Out from the Flintstones. I'd rather listen to Leonard Skinner as they were crashing. And a hand, of course, for the brilliantly funny Jeff Ross, your host. He looks like the young, uglier version of Mr. Roper from Three's Company. You are remarkably unpleasant to look at. This day, it looks like a lineup of Dick Tracy villains. <laughs> but I'm here, of course, uh, to honor a man who taught me that even if you're not talented, you can still put on a lot of makeup, overly market yourself, and you make it. Lisa Lampanelli, take a bow. We have a, a wonderful uh, uh, day of roasted. We really do. Carrot Top, I'm happy that you're here. You look healthy and natural. <laughs> How did you get so big? You look like you ate Barry Bonds. <laughs> and why all the surgery? You look like you're changing into Carrot Bottom. Danny Bonaducci, uh, very happy that you're here. Danny's actually doing uh, a new gig. He's hosting Survivor. They get a bunch of people in the room, and whoever can listen to him without killing themselves wins. <laughs> I don't even know what he's famous for. I mean, you were on the Partridge family, and they made that movie about you called Mask. <laughs> oh. Paul Rodriguez here, too, a legendary comedian. Paul Rodriguez, yes. His career is very much like Shannon Tweed. Hasn't been hot since 1986. Oh. Kidding. <laughs> Ralphie May, I'm so happy that you're here. That's, that uh, that uh, bypass surgery worked well. <laughs> Next time you want to get the doctor to staple your mouth shut, it would improve your act and your wig. I'm oh, sorry, was that a little too rough? Go f yourself. And Gene Simmons, obviously, I mean, what can you say about Gene Simmons that he hasn't already said about himself? You are a pompous individual. When he was born, the doctor handed him to his mother and said, Congratulations, Miss Klein. It's an ego. stuff people don't know about Gene. He is a very loving son. He loves his mom. He's very good to Shannon. Uh, he's a good dad to his kids. They all love him very much. Now all we have to do is convince the remaining five billion people that he's not a douchebag. <laughs> Gene started out as a math teacher, which is very helpful because it's one of them that when it comes to money, if you have four people in a band and you subtract two, oh. the remaining two get a <laughs> load more of it. <laughs> Nice to see Gene and Paul distributing the wealth. Peter and Ace are in Central Jersey trying to start a mariachi band. Thank you guys so much, Gene. I love you. I love you. I truly do love you very much. Thank you so much for having me.